guys, so today I want to do a video on the topic of why I chose to become an ICU nurse. I kind of wanted to give you guys a little background story as to what has like led me to be an ICU nurse. So, I was going to say fast forward. <laughs> Backtrack all the way to when I was in nursing school. Going through my clinical rotations, I really love the ICU and the ER. Everything else, you know, I liked OB. Um, but I, everything else was kind of just like, eh, you know, like med surge was like, eh, telemetry is like, eh, and you know, I could do it, but it wouldn't be like my forever job. So when I graduated nursing school, my ultimate end goal, I guess you could say, I don't want to say end goal, but something I really wanted to end up in was either the ER or the ICU. So I graduated nursing school and I got a position as a med surge nurse, which was fine. I actually, I really enjoyed it and it wasn't like I was just hating my job because I didn't want to do med surge. I learned a lot from med surge and, uh, but I ultimately I knew when I started my med surge job that I was not a forever med surge nurse. I said that in so many of my videos, but I still learned a lot from med surge got great exposure, it was a great new grad position, and then when, that was up in Washington, but I was relocating to Arizona, where I'm at now, and I wanted to, um, and ultimately I wanted to end up in the ICU or the ER, look at them, you guys act like you don't get any love, you guys are just camera hogs, oh thank you for licking my arm, oh thank you. Do you mind? So ultimately, I decided to just start applying for ICU and ER positions back in Arizona. I was open to pretty much everything, but I wanted to be kind of picky in the beginning of my job search um, to try and get exactly what I wanted. So I applied to a couple ICU positions and ER positions, and I got a job offer for the ICU. So I interviewed, which if you guys want to see my interview that I did for the position I have now, I will leave that down below. I actually recorded it live. Um, but I interviewed and they offered me the job like a week later and I accepted it. And I kind of was like, well, I still don't know if I want to do ER or if I want to do ICU. But, you know, if I work in the ICU and decide that it's not really for me, okay, then that's fine. I'll have a really, really, really great experience and can go work anywhere with ICU experience. I could go to the ER. I could go back to like a telemetry or med surge. I could do OB. You seriously could go anywhere. <laughs> you could go anywhere with ICU experience. So I was like, you know what? I'll just accept this position and take the job. So I did and I started working in the ICU and I'm not going to lie. At first I was kind of like, this is not what I imagined. This is really overwhelming. Um, I don't know if I can really handle it that well, and I was really questioning, should I be doing ICU or should I be doing the ER? Because I had a little bit of experience in the ICU and ER from my Washington job. I floated there occasionally, but not like full-time experience, like actually working, you know, three or four shifts a week in that unit. So I was like, you know, I really, I don't know if ICU is for me, but... I'll just keep doing it and, you know, I'll give it a year or so and if I don't like it, then I'll, I'll transition to the ER, which I know I will probably like. Fast forward a couple more weeks and I really started to like the ICU and now I really love it. I love the ICU, I love the critical thinking, I love just the people I work with and we do so many cool things at the hospital I'm at, so I'm really, really enjoying it. And as of now, I don't know foresee myself going to the ER, but who knows? But I don't have like this... Um, little guy in the back of my head telling me like, oh, you don't like ICU, go to the ER, go to the ER, go to the ER. That's not there anymore. So it's like I really enjoy what I'm doing and I'm happy. So I'm just going to stick with what I'm doing for now and see what the future brings. But that is kind of why I chose ICU. I guess I didn't really choose ICU. ICU chose me. No, I'm just kidding. That sounds really cheesy. <laughs> but it, it kind of did in a way. It's like I wasn't 100% sure and I just did it and it worked. It's not like I knew from day one that I was going to be an ICU nurse. It just kind of happened. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time.